my goal is to train the, the conservators to think for themselves. I think you're doing a good job. Could it be better? Yes. Could I do better? Probably, but not hugely. Really, ultimately, it's just laying the groundwork, the foundation for what they're going to be able to draw from and build on for the rest of their careers. Our job is to lay that foundation and to make it solid. And that thickener, effectively, is aluminum stearate or aluminum hydrate, or both, because they have a high capacity for absorbing oil. All first-year students take the same course load, and that involves, in paintings, uh, recreating egg tempera paintings in the style of 14th century Sienese paintings. And then uh, we also do a 17th century Flemish, Spanish, dark ground uh, oil painting. So the two are like totally opposite ways of painting historically. So that's really important because it's a great introduction to the history of pigments um, and other materials that the students will encounter no matter whether they're in paintings or not. At the same time you're working on minutia is to have the big picture. That often involves background research, materials analysis, historical analysis, bringing it all together. To come into art conservation, you really need to be a craftsman. And it's really important to uh, be sensitive to the artwork and to the original artist's intent. Be sensitive to what you're working on and, and the impact you have on the work. Remember to flatten that too, right? It's incredibly rewarding. To know that our students are being successful, it makes it all worthwhile. You know, if you want to fix it, you can just put a little yellow. Um, because you know that you had a hand in, in placing them in the situation where they could succeed. I think you're doing a good job. 